Good morning everybody and welcome back to Peak Wildlife Park. So today is Tuesday so it means we are back to our training Tuesday and this week we're going to be heading back into our lemur enclosure um, to see how our black and white rough lemurs are getting on with their crate training. Um, so Liz is going to be carrying out the training this morning but I will wait for a few, pa few people to join the video before I start heading on up there. So if you've joined us this morning, then please give us a little wave into the comments box or react to the video or just say hello in the comments as well. Um, just let us know that you're watching us this morning. So this is our third week of Lima training now. So the keepers have been doing it constantly, but this is our third catch up with them. So we started this back at the beginning of the year as a New Year's resolution. Um, as I say, it's with our black and white rough lemurs and we are going to be doing some crate training with them to hopefully get them going in and out of the crates really easily um, without any hassle at all. So I think they've been getting on really well, um, but we will be going up to catch up in a moment. So good morning to Mark, Thomas, Nigel. Good morning to Jane, Irene, two of our supporters. So thank you for coming back. So we've got Michael, one of our top fans as well, watching. Hi to Anna. Good morning to Tori and Arlo. Good morning to Liz, Carol and Laura as well. So thank you very much. Um, if any of you caught the video yesterday, we have actually as well now got a thing that you might see which is called stars. So stars are now enabled on our videos and that is, means that you guys can support us through Facebook. So we have got, if you guys, if it pops up on your end saying that you can send us some stars, please do send us some stars because every star that you guys send equates to a bit of money. Um, this side, so yesterday, I think, well, actually, so it's Facebook because it's American. Um, every star that we get equates to a cent um, and then that is converted back to us. So every star that you can send us is a massive help um, to us guys this end. So good morning to Nessie who's joined us. Good morning to Liz, one of our top fans. Good morning to Liz and Thomas as well. Good morning to Julie, Tom, Tim. Thank you for so much for coming back. So I'll start making my way up to the Lima enclosure and we will have a catch up with Liz. Um, we will give you guys a little recap on what happened last time in our training video and also have a go at a training session. So Liz is going to be doing one of her training sessions today and we will see how our black and white rough lemurs are getting on. So Harry's just sent us some stars. So thank you so much, Harry. Honestly, it means so much to us here. And it is a big way of helping the park, especially while we're closed as well. But it's really good as well, because it means we know that you guys are enjoying these videos. So we'll keep bringing them to you as well. So good morning to Pauline as well. Good morning to Sonia. Have to make sure the sheep don't try and get out. Come on. So I will spin you around. So I think we've got Olive out this morning and we will be getting Ty out in a moment just to give Olive a head start. So good morning Liz, hi. So what, for everybody that didn't see our last training session, how did your last training session go that we saw? If you can remember. <laughs> it was about a month ago. Mm. Um, but because it was really cold, I think um, they weren't too into it. But it is a bit milder today, so fingers crossed, um, we're going to get a good session. Go. So we've got Magda who's just sent us some stars as well. Olive. Thank you so, so much, guys. You can already tell that Olive is a lot more into this than she was last time, which is great. So we'll just start off with some basic target training. And then I've popped the crate out just over there. And then we'll get a targeting around the crate and maybe even going yeah. into the crate. So um, we want to crate train them. Just if we ever need to pop them in a crate, if we're moving them um, around the park or we need to take them to the vets um, for whatever reason. It's always good to have the animals able to go into the crate by choice rather than us having to restrain them. It's a lot less stressful for the animal and a lot less stressful for us. Good morning to Maria, AJ and Rose as well. Good morning to Freddie. 
and Tom as well. Sorry, we're contending against a little bit of noise in the background as well. Sorry about that, guys. If you can't hear, please do let us know and we'll try and speak up a little bit. So how have you been getting on since last time, Liz? How have the lemurs been doing? Really good, yeah. I think it depends on their mood. Sometimes, like previous sessions we've done on these lives, I'm not too into it. Um, so we've had some good sessions, we've had some not so good sessions. But overall, we're targeting really well now. Olive's doing really well this morning, as you can see. Um, and Ty's been doing really well as well. So, um, And we've had the crate out. So when I put it out this morning before you guys got up here, Olive ran straight over to it and just sat outside um, with it. <laughs> just She's more than comfortable with it now. So what are you using for a treat this morning, Liz? I've got beetroot this morning. So one of their absolute favourites. <laughs> so again, during the last few sessions, um, they've not been too interested in the rewards. They've decided that um, they didn't like carrot last time, which is usually one of their favourites. So I've tried beetroot today, which seems to be working. <laughs> so good morning to Lee and Scott as well, who have just joined us. Good morning to Jill and Jamie as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Scooping down, it's my little agility course this morning. <laughs> So remember guys, um, we started these videos as a little way that you guys can learn some tips about training. Um, and if you guys have been doing any training at home, if you've got pets at home, if you've got cats, dogs, rats, anything, um, please let us know how you've been getting on as well. It's really, sorry guys, it's really good to hear how you guys have been getting on if you've been doing any training. Or if you've got any questions as well about any kind of training, then um, we might be able to help you out. So just pop your questions into the comments below. Or if you've got any questions about our training session or even about our lemurs or any of our animals, then please pop them into the comments section as well. Or if anybody would like a shout out this morning, if your kids are at school, they're gonna be watching it later on, um, I can give them a shout out. So when they watch the video, they'll still get a shout out as well. So please let me know their names and I'll give them a little shout out during the video. So good morning to Ange as well. Good morning to Amy, Nigel and Fiona. Thank you for watching guys. Yeah. So I think now I remember last time Olive was not really interested in whatsoever. Uh, she was so more interested in staying in bed last <laughs> time. I don't blame her though, it was quite cold. So this is a really good improvement. Yeah, Sat right by the crate. Target. Good girl. So yeah, she's doing really well. So I'm just popping the target in front of the crate for a little bit, just getting used to being at the door to the crate. So we haven't actually got a door on it. Um, so we just want to get used to oh. <laughs> going into the crate by the end of the session, but we're not going to be attempting to close the door on her. Um, so that'll be quite scary, closing the door on her. So that'll be the next, next step. Once she goes into the crate, the next step will be getting the door on um, and starting to close it. So the sheep <laughs> <laughs> just heard the thud behind me it was the sheep so good morning to josh and layla as well thank you for watching good morning to rosa and davy and caroline caroline's one of our top fans so thank you for joining and remember guys if it's coming up that you can send us some stars please do send the stars our way like I say, it's a good way of supporting us, but not only that, it lets us know that you guys are enjoying these videos. So we've got 300 stars so far. So if you've got any stars to send our way, please do. We get very excited when we get stars. <laughs> So good morning to Kerry and baby Albert. So baby Albert's going to be celebrating his first birthday on Thursday. So a very big happy birthday to Albert. I know you guys watch every one of our videos pretty much. So we hope you have a lovely birthday on Thursday. Good morning to Darren, Dawn and Frankie May who have just joined us. So if, you've, if you're watching this video guys and I've not give you a shout out, then please send us a little wave. 
let us know that you're watching this video or that you're enjoying this video and if you know somebody else who would love this video then please do feel free to tag them in it so they can enjoy it as well so what i think we'll do is she's doing really well with planting um in front of the crate and in the entrance of the crate we'll start popping the food inside to see if she is comfortable going in <laughs> So, Michael's just sent us some stars. Thank you so, so much, Michael. A bit confusing, I'm sorry. Shall I put some more in? So, what Liz is doing here, she's just going to put the treats inside. So, Olive, when she heads inside the crate, she gets a nice little treat. But like Liz said as well, so we, the door's completely taken off so she can come in and out as she pleases. So I'm just going to be clicking in there so she knows that she's doing the right thing so she does associate that click with yes i'm doing what i should be doing so hopefully she'll pick up if i go in the crate i'm just going to keep getting more food but she is going in with both um her front arms she's going halfway in which is amazing so really chuffed with that so good morning to Darren from Essex as well. Amelia's saying hello and she's enjoying the lemurs this morning. Tanya's just sent us some stars as well. Thank you so much, guys. Wondering if you've put any up there. <laughs> so Kerry's just sent some stars as well. Thank you so much, guys. So as Liz has just said to her, we're not going to push it. So she has gone into the crate. Um, she half went into the crate, which is really good. Is that the first time she's done it, Liz? Yeah, the first time that um, she has gone into the crate, yeah. So, so you guys got to see it first as well. She's first time. <laughs> so she's gone in freely on her own for the first time. So obviously that's really successful. So we're just going to go a bit more target training. And what we'll do is we'll try to end on a really good one. So I'll chuck food again into the crate and she'll get a really big reward in there to know that she's done really, really well. And then we will get Ty out and see how Ty does with it. <laughs> Mischief baker. Yeah, definitely. So for those of you who don't know Olive and Ty, they are our two black and white rough lemurs. Coming down. And they are actually mother and daughter. So Olive here oh, is mum and then her daughter is Ty. Um, so Olive is now 19 years old and Ty I believe is 17 or 16 years old. Yeah. Um, uh, but Ty is the more dominant out of the two. So she's more dominant than her mum. Which is why we always do the training separate with these guys because Ty does tend to take over everything. So good morning to Ben, Fiona and June who have just joined us. Give us a little wave if you've just joined the video as well. Let us know that you're enjoying it or that you're watching. Yeah. I'm like, she's like, I know where the treats yeah. are. <laughs> So as I said before, you guys are the first to see Olive going into the crate like this. So this has been a really, really good training session. <laughs> She's going to come out with like a red head, beetroot head. Good girl, Olive. Oh. Oh, so close. <laughs> so we do usually see that they will stretch as far as they can whilst keeping their back legs out because that them is quite reassuring that they we can't shut it because they've got their back legs out so we want to keep going until she's comfortable sitting inside and she's not worried that we're going to close her in so what we'll do is i've got her jackpot reward it's a big grape and we'll chuck it to the back of the crate <laughs> and we'll see if she can awesome. go in Ollie? what are you looking at oh. Ollie, you ready you ready 
Oh no, it bounced. Rolls back. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh well, you have done very well. I got a few pieces of beetroot at the last. One. So grape is one of their favourite things to eat. So we do feed them a diet of veg because um, fruit is quite sugary for them. But they get it as a treat. So like this, the grape is a really high reward for them. Olive. So you can see she just keeps looking out just to make sure that nothing's happening while she's looking inside the grape. I think you spotted someone, but I don't know who. <laughs> we're still keeping those back legs out. Good girl. <laughs> well done, Olive. So, yeah, that was a really good session getting her going into that crate for the first time. So, we'll keep doing that, and hopefully, she'll start to get more comfortable with fully going in with her back legs as well um, and we'll just get her used to sitting in there getting some nice food and then when we've done that a few times we'll add the door <laughs> um, so hopefully next time we will possibly have the crate door on and we'll have it inside the crate Touch wood. <laughs> we'll see. so what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna pop Olive inside the house um, and I'm gonna get Ty out so I'll pop Olive away just so that Ty doesn't get distracted by Olive um, Awesome. Think she's heading in anyway for breakfast. Yeah. So Olive's just heading inside for her breakfast now and we're gonna get Ty out to give her a go at the training and see how she's getting on. So I'm not sure if you remembered last time. So Ty was actually the more confident out of the two last time anyway. Um she was sitting on top of the crate um when she came out, so she was sitting on top of it and she was quite interested in what the crate was already. So hopefully with Ty as well, this will be quite successful. Um, but Ty does tend to get a little bit distracted as well around the enclosure first thing in the morning because she is the most dominant within this enclosure. She likes to sort of scope it out, make sure that everything is as it should be. Um, so it might take a little bit longer to get her interested in the training this morning. So if you guys have just joined us, if you've got any questions about this training session or any questions about training about how you guys can use this at home then please do let us know so i'll spin you around ty's coming straight over so good morning to christine as well good morning to james thank you for joining us this morning guys so remember as well if you have got the option to send us some stars this morning please please do um, we get very excited when we get stars, but not only that, it's a great way of supporting us and letting us know that you're enjoying these sessions. So, good morning to Christine, who's saying good morning team. So, as I said before, Ty does get a little bit distracted, so she has gone to just sort of make sure everything is as it should be. And then I'm sure she'll head back over to get some treats for her training. So she has just joined us again. Good girl. So Ty does tend to get a bit more distracted than Olive does. <laughs> uh, but she is the more confident of the two, so we'll see how she gets on. Already putting her head in. <laughs> so how have you been getting on with Ty in between these sessions then? Yeah. Um, with Ty, um, she will start off really well and then something will happen, like one of the lemurs will be doing something and she'll just go straight over to see what's going on. So it has to depend on the mood that she's in, but she is quite confident, so um, you tend to get a bit further with Ty than with Olive because she's more confident um, with new stuff like this. So we'll just do a bit of target training, just like we did with Olive. And we'll see if she does want to go inside the crate at any point. So how can people use this at home? So it's a, probably a good way that you could baby train a cat. Um, a very similar thing to what we're doing now. So if you 
take your cat to the vets for example um, and they don't like going in a crate you can spend some time doing just what we're doing now here with our black and white rough lemurs um, getting them going in and out of a crate successfully might be pretty handy for you guys so how can they sort of use this training liz at home so eventually what we're wanting is them to build a positive association with the crate so we want them to see the crate as a really exciting thing she's getting the leftovers of the olive <laughs> left in them and so we're using really nice food so that when she sees that crate <laughs> stretch <laughs> and that she thinks oh i'm gonna get some nice food this is a really good thing and um, so yeah just start building that positive association up So yeah, you can use a target like I am, um, or you can pop nice food around the crate so they just get really used to it. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, just start getting them inside a crate, getting them used to it, being nice and comfortable. Um, yeah. So would you need to do target training before using a crate, or do you reckon you could? <laughs> Um, so, for example, sorry. she's spied where the treats are. <laughs> so, um, if we had a crate in the house, but Ty was sat outside and we needed her in, we can use target training to get her in because they don't always respond to us calling their name. Um, whereas, like your dogs and cats, probably will respond better to you calling them over. So we can use it. <laughs> we can use it to move them around the enclosure to where we need them to be to then get into a crate or um, do any health checks or anything that we need so yeah we like to use target training as a basis for a lot of training to be honest but you don't necessarily need to do it in order to crate train so we'll start popping it in the crate see how she does with that so we've got jane asking if the beetroot is cooked or raw um it's cooked at the moment but they can have raw and cooked beetroot um, but they're one of their favourites. So beetroot, peas and sweet corn um, is their absolute favourite. It's in there. Mm, good girl. So if you've just joined this video, guys, give us a little wave. Or if you've got any questions as well, just making sure. <laughs> If you've got any questions about the training or even just about the par the park or the animals at the park then please do let us know Good just pop those into the comments box below or if you know somebody that wants a little shout out this morning um then please pop their name into the comments box as well and we'll give these guys a little shout out so is this the first time that ty's been in as well i believe it is <laughs> So you guys are getting to see it first hand this morning, both Ty and Olive. First time going into the crate like this. So like Olive, she's making sure she's keeping those back legs out so we can't do anything behind her. She's got that kind of reassurance that she's still outside. Spooky. <laughs> And remember guys as well, if you've got any stars that you want to send us, please feel free to send them our way. So every star that you guys send us equates to a cent. So, and then that will be converted in to pounds. So we've got Christine asking, will we be opening in April? So we are very hopeful. <laughs> We're very hopeful that it will be the 12th of April. Um, and we'll be updating everybody as soon as we have got booking available and different things like that. So please stay tuned on our social media channels. But we're very hopeful that it'll be the 12th of April. If anything does change, sorry guys, a lot of banging in the background. Um, then we will update you, but we are very hopeful it'll be the 12th of April. 
So we've got Carla asking, do we train the tortoises? Yeah, so we have, we've attempted to target train them. Um, Jack, if any of you know Jack, he can be quite grumpy. <laughs> so he's not usually that bothered. Um, we've had a good go, but it's not been that successful. But we'll always try again. Don't be defeated. <laughs> if any of you guys have ever trained tortoise, please let us know your tips. Um, so what I'll do, because I've run out of beetroot, is I'm going to give her a crate. I'm going to pop it in the back of the crate um, and we'll end it on a really good note. I'm going to place it rather than chuck it down <laughs> and lose my lesson. Come in. So both the lemurs have done very, very well this morning. And you guys got to see it firsthand. So I hope you guys are as excited as us that we've done. They've done so so well this morning. He's trying to figure out how to get in. So Kim's just sent us some stars as well. So we're actually at the same as we were yesterday for our video. So if you want to help us beat yesterday what we got for our video, then please just send us a few more stars, and we will hopefully beat the the stars that we got in our video yesterday. So. Christine's saying that she can't wait to bring a granddaughter. We honestly cannot wait to have you guys back. Um, it will be absolutely amazing to see all of your faces again, whether you're going to be completely new to the park or whether you've been to the park lots of times before. We honestly can't wait to see you. So Tanya has just sent us another 100 stars. So we absolutely, oh, we've amazing. smashed our target from yesterday. So thank you so much, guys. <laughs> are the best i think they deserve a lot of stuff i think they do <laughs> thank you so so much guys for helping us beat yesterday's video it's going to be the aim now we'll try and beat each every video, every video from before <laughs> there you go so realize the session is over she's gone over to the house so i'm gonna let the rest of the leaders out if you guys want to stick around for that oh, perfect um, yeah if there's any one that you guys want to see um let us know and i'll try and point them out to you Perfect. So if you guys have bought any adoption packs, lemur adoption packs, then let us know and we'll try and, well, I'll have to get Liz to do it because if you've watched these videos, I'm not great at names, I'm afraid, um, but we can point them out to you. Um, I definitely know Alan. <laughs> I'll go straight over. I definitely know Alan and Mary, so I can point those out to you. But if you've adopted anybody else, then please do let us know. So we've got Jill asking whereabouts the park is. So we're based in, well, we're sort of on the edge of the Peak District. So if you know where Alton Towers is, we are about 10 or 15 minutes away from Alton Towers. So yeah, so if you sort of head on the Ashbourne Road and turn towards Alton Towers, the same turning, then we are on the road just off the Ashbourne Road from Leek. So please do pay us a visit if you can. So we've just let the lemurs out and they're just exploring this morning. This is one of my favourite things that they do in a morning. And when it's cold as well, they'll sort of walk on their back legs. Rather than using all four legs, they'll use just the back two to have a little wander around. So we've got a few people asking to see some lemurs. So I'll wait until Liz has let everybody out and then we'll try and point a few lemurs out to you so we've got a few Liz so we have got Tom who adopted Primrose and he's also sent us an, another load of stars so we've actually completely smashed our target from yesterday Primrose is an absolutely huge character now. She is so confident and super cheeky, so she's a great one to adopt in. And um, we've got Kerry who has adopted Ernie for baby Albert. Ernie, so yeah, Ernie's just here. It's usually these two that are the troublemakers. <laughs> together causing some sort of mischief. Mischief makers. So how can these guys, if they visit the park, how can they sort of distinguish between the lemurs? So what's a good way that you know these two apart? Um, a dark face um she's got quite dark eyes just like a mum princess who's actually sat in the door there um and ernie is oh, 
Ernie's usually the one that is jumping everywhere. I think I tell Ernie more from his personality than anything. Um, but the more you see them, the more they do look different. Um, and it just becomes more and more obvious. <laughs> so we've got Ziggy, our so male got... black lemur. Tom's just sent some more stars as wow. well. <laughs> he says his little one has loved watching this video oh, and is also having grapes for breakfast. Oh, nice. Lemurs Thank you so, jealous. so much, guys. The lemurs will be very jealous. <laughs> I think we've got Alan on the corner there. Yeah. See, I do know some of them, guys. <laughs> so we've got Alan just sat up here. So I, only, I know Alan because he's just an he's app. He's just, the, he's just the best lever. So <laughs> Sorry Alan's to say the it. the dad of our youngsters. So he's our breeding male. So in Lima world, it is the girls that are in charge. So Alan is kind of only needed for one reason. So he's only really popular. Um, <laughs> at a certain time of year and then the rest of the time you'll often see him sat away it's not because he doesn't get on with anyone it's because he's keeping himself out of trouble hi it's primrose you've got jumping on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so they're so active in the morning they yeah. jump everywhere so you might have just seen ziggy as well our male black lemur and then we have got our red-bellied lemurs. Just jump back in the house. We've got P, who's just come out. So P is Primrose's big sister. Cool. <laughs> so Primrose is the one that's just jumping about everywhere. Causing mayhem. <laughs> and we've got classic Alan sitting on the floor. Hi, bud. Hi. Staying out of the way. Yeah. Make keeping himself out of trouble. So we've got Carla that just sent us some stars as well. Some Good morning. Amazing. Thank you for joining us. That's absolutely amazing. So we've got over a thousand stars now this morning, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you so so much. And I'm not sure if you can see it just at the top of that tree. See there are red bellied lemurs. Is it Rufus and Bramble? It is, yeah. So Rufus, oh, some, just some geese. geese going over. <laughs> um, Rufus is the lighter one of the two, um, and Bramble is a bit darker than Rufus. And then just in the distance, there going up the <laughs> rope, we've got Quintana, our female black lemur. <laughs> so Ernie's playing with the red belly at the moment <laughs> in the tree. Wow. <laughs> so the red bellies only joined us last September and they settled in absolutely amazingly and yeah they get on with the ringtails really well especially the younger ringtails so they're just having a bit of a play with Ernie at the moment which is really really cute. I think they're absolutely full of energy this yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> So we will leave these guys to play, carry on playing throughout the day. But thank you so much to everybody who's joined us this morning. And thank you so much to Liz. If you can give Liz a little round of applause for a training session. She's done very well with these guys and has got Ty and Olive now going into a crate almost. Oh, well, they get popping their head in, which is really, really good. Session. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much for everyone that's joined us and we will see you on Friday for our, I think we are going to try and do you guys another little trail. So we're going to need your help and we're going to be taking our alpacas on a little wander. Um, but we're going to need your help to solve the clues to get us all the way around the park to visit the other animals. So please join us on Friday for that. That's going to be at nine o'clock as well. Um, just on Facebook as normal. So we will see you all then. Thank you so much.